If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, students, I welcome you all once again to lecture 9 of this gate electrical circuit series. So, again, today I have taken uh, 5 questions, question number 41 to 45. Okay, then let's try to solve these questions. So, in question number 41, what they are asking in 41? The state equation I1 of the network shown below in terms of voltage Vx, the independent source V is given by the state equation of this I1. State equation means DIDT. DIDT, uh, state space analysis. Okay. But here you can use uh, these variables Vx, V, you can see the expressions also. So I1 should be written in terms of I1 only. So this type of op from options also you can see what you have to find it out. So you take KVL here, you take KVL, then you can LDIDT, you can easily get from here. So if I take KVL that side, then what will be my KVL from here? It will be minus V, minus V if I am getting minus. You can already, because I will be moving in this direction, I am considering my current is moving here and I am moving case KVL here. Because it is entering, this is plus minus, I have already shown you in the case of resistance, wherever it is entering, that will be your plus here also. Because it is entering, so this is plus minus. So you should not get confused. Whenever current is entering, that is plus, because it is load convention. So this is minus V you are getting minus first then it is you are getting plus first that's why 3 into suppose this current what will be this current this current will be equal to your i1 plus i2 because if you take kcl here so i1 plus i2 so this current is i1 plus i2 now once you have this is i1 plus i2 so it will be 3 i1 plus i2 then plus vx because i am getting vx here and then again plus l di1 dt that is equal to 0 if you if you if you just simply change the site and do some little uh, something of something if you do and divide it by 0.5 you will get it because you divide so it will be 2 v minus 6 i1 i think you can do it i am directly writing it 6 to minus 2 vx okay now here you can see there is a i2 is there so to replace i2 you have to take kvl in this path also so if you take again in this path if i give again this is plus this is minus because this is entering so what will be again the expressions here so if you take KVL here, it will be 5i2 plus plus 5i2 minus 0.2 Vx and then it is minus 0.5 Di1 dt. So from here if you calculate your i2 will be equal to 0.5 by Vx by 0.2 Vx by 5 and plus 0.5 Di1 dt divided by 5. Everything divided by 5. This is 0.2. Now you replace this one here. If you replace this one, you will get the answer. So just I am writing it. Uh, calculations you can do it, I think. Just I am writing the replacement only. 6 into 0.2 Vx by 5 plus this will be 0.1 Di1 dt minus 2 Vx. That's it. So if you do this one uh, and little bit side Di1, you take this side and little, little bit side change you do. Final calculation you will get Di1 by dt. That is your option A, minus 1.4 Vx, minus 3.75 I1, and then 5 by 4 V. Again, a question on phasor diagram. So I have already shown you how to draw phasor diagram. You just draw, write the expression and you put some values of R, see how it is moving. Exact calculation is not required. How does it look like? We'll play with the options. Uh, with the reference of the potential zero, all phasors are given with reference to this point. This is your ground point. The locus of the voltage across Vi was as R varied from zero to infinity is shown here. So what will be Vyx? What will be Vy? Let me calculate Vy. What will be Vy? Vy is the, if you see the total voltage is divided by these two, these two. Let me calculate Vx plus. Vx is simply V angle 0. And what is Vy? V total voltage is 2V. So 2V is divided into these two part. So 2V voltage division I am applying. And this is because it is C. So I will put minus, minus Jx. Inductor it is plus Jx uh, X, because it is 1 by Jxc. 1 by j x c so if you take up it will be minus so i will be putting minus x reactor so what will be your v y x so v y x is v y minus v x v y minus v x that is what they are asking find the phasor of v y x so i am calculating v y x and i will be changing because what will be changing they are changing r i will be putting r equal to 0 r equal to infinity and i will see how v y x moves and the from option i will say i will see and give the answer so it will be 2 b into minus j x divided by r minus jx minus v. Now just put the value, just play with the options. Now if you put r equal to 0, what will be your if yx? If you put r equal to 0, this is 0. So minus jx minus jx, 2v minus v is v. v means v angle 0. Okay. 
So if my reference is V angle 0, if my somewhere the reference is V angle 0, so this will be V angle 0. Okay, for R equal to 0, at R equal to 0, I am going this way, this point. This is the locus of Vyx. Vyx is here. This is the phasor. Now if you take R equal to infinity, let me see where this phasor goes. Vyx. If you take R equal to, this is 0, because something divided by infinity, so it will be minus V, which is V angle 180. So this will be somewhere here. V angle 180. So from here, after seeing this much, let's come to option C, which of our options are satisfying. If only one, then it is done. We will not put any other one. So here you can see, your, here, here you can see, one time it is at this side, V, Y, X, one time it is at this side. So it can be, because one time it is here, one time it is here. You can see, if it is here, then the length is 2V, length is also 2V. Here also it can be, here it is minus, here it is plus. Here it cannot be, you see the uh, reference, phasor of the V, Y, X. What is the phasor of V, Y, X? V, Y, X, one time phasor is here, one time is here and then here. So this type of phasor I am not getting, because one extreme point should be this side, one extreme point should be this side. Here, one extreme point is this side. Here you can see, uh, if, you, if, if you bring it here, 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 it will come as, as 90 degrees, 0 angle 90 something. And here it will be V at an angle of 1, 2B at an angle of 180, but it is V at an angle of 0. 2B at an angle of 0, here it is V at an angle. So these and these will not be the answer. So out of these two will be the answer. That's what I got. Now this B is moving from here to here, that's what we got. But how does it is moving below or it is moving up? If it is moving in the below path, then it is the answer. If it is moving in up path, then it is the answer. So to know that, I have to put something in between these two. So that's why I will putting R equal to X. Because R equal to X, I can take common and then I can cancel it out. So if you take R equal to X common, so it will be 2V minus J divided by X will be taken common, I 1 minus J, then minus V. So this V you can take out and you can calculate in calculator this one. If you calculate it, it will get it V angle of minus 90. So now you can note. So what will be your phasor? V at an angle of minus 90. So this is the my phasor. That means my phasor is moving from here to here in this path. So that is your option. So you can play with the options, phasor diagram. So these are easy. You draw whichever is phasor diagram you are required to draw. V, U, I, X. So you draw the expression and change the variable. The variable that they asked to change. They are here they have asked to change R. So change the R. Put some values of R. See how, how the phasor is moving. And then simply play with the option. The circuit shown in the figure, the value of the current I. So you can do, easily you can take KVL or whatever. So if you take 5 here, now you can see this voltage, what is this voltage? Because it is 1, 1. So 5 will be divided here in two parts. 2.5, 2.5. So your VA is 2.5 volt. That's what. And what is your VB? VB is equal to, because it is 1, so you see, this one is my plus minus, this one is also plus minus from here. So VA minus VB will give you VAB. So because current is entering here, so this is plus. So whatever the voltage is here, because if I am cancelling, VAB means VA minus VB. So VA voltage with reference to ground, VB voltage with reference to ground. So both should be plus plus. Then you take VA minus VB. We are getting it now. So the voltage I am measuring VA with reference to this ground. So it is with reference to this ground, this is up. With reference to this ground, this is up or down. If it is minus, then it will be down. We have to put minus. If it is plus, then it is okay. Positive. What, with reference to this, what is the voltage? If it, because this is zero level. So VAB will be, if current is entering, what is the voltage? 1 into I. So this is I. So what will be VAB? VAB will be equal to 2.5 minus I. Okay, that's what I got from here. Now I take KVL here. So if you take KCL, uh, KVL here, so it is for first is minus 4 AB, 4 VAB, then because it is entering to resistance, it is always positive, 3 I, and then it is I, equal to 0. So you know what is VAB, we put the value minus 4, 2.5 plus I, plus 4 I is equal to 0. So now we can solve it easily. If you solve it, I is equal to 10 by 8, which is equal to 1.25. What they have asked in 44, 44 is given the ideal, ideal elements in the circuit shown in figure below. The voltage of BAV. What should be the voltage of BAV they are asking? Uh, what will be the voltage of BAV? So you can take again KBL here and it can you can easily find it out. So because this current is already given 1 ampere, so whatever load is there, this current will be always 1 ampere, this path. The current will flow along this path and this will be always 1. So let me go with this path only. So it, uh, this voltage you know. So suppose if I start here, I am moving in this direction. I am moving in this direction. So what is my VAB? This is minus VAB and this is plus 2 into 1. So this voltage we already know. This voltage is required to find. So that's why I am putting V minus AB. This voltage 2 into and then this voltage minus 5. Because. So it is simply VAB is equal to minus 3. That is your option. Thevenin is equivalent of a circuit operating at omega equal to this much has VOC given Z given. So Thevenin is equivalent they have already calculated. This is the VOC and this is my Z. 
exactly thevenin's impedance it is seen from that terminal this is given 2.3 this at the frequency at this frequency the minimum realization of this thevenin's impedance how we will get this impedance so in the impedance if you see it is 2.38 minus j 0.667 so one resistance is required because this is resistance and how does this represent because this is minus so you need a capacitor minimum we can have inductor capacitor value mix where inductor is less capacitor is more but because they are asking for minimum relation so you need a capacitor because there is a minus sign so obviously you need a resistance and a capacitor minimum you can have inductor of a low value and it will cancel because capacitance will be here dominant because you need a minus sign okay then that's all for today if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section